Bitcoin has plummeted to the downside significantly as you can see over here on the charts and he has plummeted approximately 12% in just a day. And you may be asking me why this happened today. We're going to be discussing why this specifically happened and also we're going to be talking about whether Bitcoin is dead or be here. Or is Bitcoin due to the upside? Can we still see a bounce or be here from Bitcoin? Or is Bitcoin going to be correcting to the downside? We're going to be discussing this as well. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Subscribe and let's jump into the video. So yeah, let's really get started. So Bitcoin made this significant dump to the downside as you can see over here. And it has made approximately 12% it decrease in just under a day, which is which is crazy. I mean, this has been the biggest dump since we had since since the FTX. I mean, actually, it is the biggest dump among among you know this year. Actually, it has made a twelve percent plummet, right? So yeah, it, it is actually the biggest dump. And if we were to be looking at the liquidations, the liquidations are at is biggest since we had the FDX contagion over here. After we, since we have the FDX crash over here, I mean, yeah, since we had the FDX crash over here, the liquidations have not been in this huge since since this. So yeah, you're able to see that this was a quite significant event. And also the corporate interest, the aggregated amount of positions in contracts decreased approximately 20% and the founding rate has finally flashed red. However, it has not been, you know, at these, you know, levels as you can see over here. So yeah, we did make a significant dump to the downside. However, I mean, we are still consolidating at these levels. So yeah, what's going to be happening next? So in my opinion, given that Bitcoin has made this significant dump to the downside and we're, we're able to see significant liquidations since the FTX crash will be here, I think that we're going to be seeing a temporary bounce. Also, given that the RSI on the four early is at the nine level, as you can see over here, the RSI is at its lowest. Actually, we never seen the RSI, you know, going down at these levels. This is historically the lowest level for the RSI. Also, on the one early, we are still beneath the 30 level. Also, the four early. The four hour is also beneath the 30 level and also on the daily it's beneath the 30 level. So given that, you know, we have we are having, you know, confluence with, you know, each and, you know, every, you know, high, you know, important, you know, time frame RSI is, you know, being beneath the 30 level. I'll be saying that, you know, there is a there is a high probability for Bitcoin, you know, bouncing off, bouncing, bouncing from here. Also, given that Bitcoin is outside of the Bollinger Bands, which only has like a 33% probability of, you know, consolidating outside of the Bollinger Bands. We are also, you know, outside of the Bollinger Bands over here at uh, currently on the four hourly time frame. I mean, sorry, on the daily time frame. And also on the four hourly, we are, you know, testing the Bollinger Bands currently. And yeah, as I've been saying, we are, you know, outside, we are in the well beneath, in the, we are well beneath the 30 zone over here in terms of the RSI. So yeah, I think that is, you know, really, really likely that we're going to be seeing a bounce to the upside. And yeah, which zones you want to be watching in, in this kind of case is you would, act, you would really want to be watching the 21 weekly EMA, which is, you know, at the 28K level. So yeah, we could easily, you know, test these religions in the coming weeks over here if we were to be testing the 28K level. This is an area you want to be watching for any, you know, TPs if you are are if you are thinking of, you know, putting, any, putting in any lungs at these levels. I'll be watching those levels, you know, significantly. And also, you want also, you, you would also want to be looking at the... 20 weekly moving average over here. I mean, if Bitcoin wants to be in a continue, if Bitcoin wants to continue this, you know, uptrend over here, as you can see, Bitcoin must be breaking above the 20 weekly moving average over here in order for, you know, to see, you know, bullish continuation. As you can see, Bitcoin has been respecting the 20 weekly and the 21 weekly EMA, you know, consist consistently over here, as you can see, and Bitcoin finally broke below the 21 weekly EMA over here, as you can see over here on the charts. So, I mean, if Bitcoin does not recover this, you know, 21 weekly EMA within, you know, this week, I mean, we're having the weekly close in just under two days. This is going to be, you know, really, you know, bearish. I mean, this is going to be, you know, super awful, to be honest, to be to be completely honest. This is going to be super awful. So, yeah, we want to be seeing, you know, the 21 weekly EMA recovering to these levels in order for us to see, you know, bullish continuation. And if you're not able to see this, I mean, just looking at, you know, past, past you know, historical movements, this is going to be extremely bearish. 
after once Bitcoin breaks beneath the 20 weekly and 21 weekly EMA, we just see a, you know, range bound continuation over here, as you can see. And then we finally go to the upwards. So yeah, I mean, if we do lose, you know, the 21 weekly EMA over here, the, we're just the green line. I mean, it's going to be a consolidation phase for a year. I mean, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be like a consolidation year consolidation phase guys it's going to be bearish and it's going to be you know, unlikely that bitcoin is going to be breaking above the 21 weekly ema i mean even if we do break above the 21 weekly ema it's, it typically typically you know takes a couple of weeks until we get above it so yeah we will also like to be seeing it holding as support holding it as support you know subsequently from you know breaking breaking above the 20 weekly and 21 weekly ema so yeah those are the areas we want to be watching clearly clearly so in summary i think that we're going to be seeing some sort of bounce obviously we could be, you know, consolidating here for a while. We could be going down a little bit more further. But yeah, my thesis is that we should be, you know, having a bounce to the 28K level. I mean, by next week, at least. And yeah, and the question is whether Bitcoin is going to be breaking above this level or not. And yeah, I think that's it for today's video. And lastly, the reason why Bitcoin has plummeted is because, you know, Elon Musk, SpaceX has, you know, sold, you know, apparently ha has apparently sold Bitcoin. They've sold approximately 3 billion, you know, 3 billion USD worth of Bitcoin. So, yeah, I mean, that is the reason why, you know, Bitcoin plummeted in just, you know, under, you know, under, you know, a couple minutes like this, which is crazy. I mean, what a brutal candle, guys. I mean, this is insane. Like, I mean, yeah, this was totally unexpected. Fufa Bitcoin was going to be you know breaking breaking below like this. We had like a like this is literally a flash clash over here. This doesn't look good to be honest. And yeah, I mean, in the next you know support zones you want to be watching is you know, clearly clearly the twenty four point nine, twenty three point eight, and the twenty one point eight level. But yeah, as I said, I think we're going to be seeing a slight bounce to the upside, which is likely. And then you know what's going to be happening next is really depends on the markets over here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And also, if you want to be trading like me, make sure you sign up on BitKid. And the reason why is because you'll get a 30 percent discount on all trades if you sign up from over here. So yeah, make sure you sign up on BitKid in the description down below. So yeah, this was a short video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.